Hey guys, <laughs> I got a new car. I am in it right now as we speak, but I got a... Hi, I'm Shannon, and this is Joe. And when you add us together, that makes... Shoe? Uh, let's change that. Show. Perfect. This is our weekend vlogs. Hey vlog, it is Friday now and my second session got canceled. So I have already, um, what's it called? Worked out, showered. I had a training this morning. Um, so yeah, here I am now cleaning my apartment for when my friends come over later. Um, they're coming from out of town and I want to make sure my apartment is nice and welcoming for them so um, yeah that's what I'm doing um, what was I gonna say oh earlier so I went to go like hug Joe on the couch and my my like back was like arched because I, I didn't sit down. I like put my legs in like I was like arched. Like my back was like this. And Minnie jumped. Well first she put her paws. Like her front paws on my butt. And then she just decided to jump on my back. So she was on my back. And Joe got a couple pictures of her. So I'm going to post those here right now. Um, my face was all janky in like all the pictures so I'm gonna like put like a face over my face so you can't see because it's just like really janky you, you don't you don't even want to see it but <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna post them right here look at this crazy sandstorm we're getting it's like super windy so all the sand is gathering up it looks like it's foggy like from rain dang blow plant blue just kidding hey vlog so currently taking this wagon of groceries up to the apartment that i just got and somebody just spilled like juice all over the bottom of this elevator. I live around some hooligans. Hey vlog, it's literally the next day. Um, last clip you saw, I was taking all the beer and stuff into the apartment and I just got... I just got... Um... <laughs> hey vlog, it has been a minute. <laughs> Um, I last time you saw me I got interrupted because I was in the bathroom of this um, it's like a restaurant and brewery um, called Se what is it called? Sempresa? Sobre Mesa <laughs> um, and some lady walked in and I was like so awkward I was like oh sorry <laughs> so anyway I was trying to tell you guys that I, it was the next day and the last clip you saw was when I got the beer. And then I had a great night with my friend Isabel and her husband, Zach. And we played Taboo. And we talked a lot. And we just had a really good time. And then stayed up really late. And then uh, we got up this morning. And we went to my niece's game. I'll show you a clip of her batting right here. Come on up, <laughs> Gavin. 
Oh, good try. And then after we did that, um, we went to the brewery um, and then had I had a really good burger. And everything over there was expensive, so you know it had to be good. So <laughs> the burger was really good, and then they had really good fries. And Joe got the fish and chips, which was really good. I had a little bite of them. And uh, I didn't get a beer because we drank last night. And I was like, uh, I don't really want that. <laughs> so then we came home after that. And I took a nap. I took like a three-hour nap. So, yeah. <laughs> and now uh, we're here playing Warzone. And we're just chilling. Um, Joe got me a coffee, and it's like 6.30, and I'm drinking coffee, so that's cool. I'm almost done with it. Good thing it's a small one. And I feel better. Um, I feel like there's something else to tell you guys, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, tonight, um, I'm just gonna chill probably and play this. Hopefully I work out later, because once I get tired of Warzone... Because I know I'll get tired of it. Um, so I'll work out later. It's only a 30 minute workout today. So that's exciting. And then tomorrow I'm going to get up, work out. And then uh, get ready to go um, look for a car. Me and Joe are just going. My dad is going to come with me. But he has to work. So I'm just going to go look around. I know kind of what I want. So I just want to go see what they have out there the used car light car lots and then if not i'll go to the dealership so stay tuned till tomorrow hey guys <laughs> i got a new car i'm in it right now as we speak but i got a toyota corolla a 2021 toyota corolla <laughs> <sighs> I look was looking for specific cars. I was looking for a Corolla or a Honda Civic and I went to a used place. All like a bunch of the used car places were um closed that day on Sunday. So I had to go get, I had to go, or there was only one that I could go to, to f see if they had anything. And they had a Corolla, but it was, um, kind of expensive. Well, I thought it was expensive. And then it was used and it just didn't seem like. I should spend that much to get a used car because I knew how much the pricing was for like the cars that I wanted so I didn't get it and they had a, a bunch of Camrys too but they didn't have any Honda Civics at this used place so then we went to Honda dealership and I found a used car there but it was expensive, but it was less than the used Toyota Corolla that I saw at the used car lot. And it was really nice. But it was still a little expensive. So then I was like, okay, well, I know I want a Toyota Corolla. And there's no other used car lots and it's getting late so might as well go to the Toyota dealership to see if I could find something you know um maybe they'll have like a used Corolla or whatever so I go there and I test drive a 
used Toyota Corolla and that one wasn't as smooth on the road and it wasn't very like um yeah it just wasn't as smooth as like the Honda or just as smooth as I wanted it to be so I didn't really like it I really liked the color though but the rest everything else was just like not what I was looking for and it was used and it had 60,000 miles on it and it was a little pricey so for a used Corolla I guess and then I looked at the other ones that they had and it just seemed like those ones are kind of, well, actually, they didn't have any other used cars. So they, of Corollas. So we went to the, um, and this salesman didn't know much about, um, selling cars. Like, he just was kind of, like, not answering our questions, really. So we went to, um, look at the new ones and they were like a little pricey um but I guess after that we were like okay well I think like the Honda the used one was a better deal and so we decided to go and look and talk in the car and then we looked online and stuff and we saw the same car that we saw at that dealership, um, we saw a um, blue car, which is the one that I have, and online they had it at a certain price, plus like you got cash back or something online, so we showed it to the salesperson. And he said, oh yeah, like, that is the right one. But he was kind of argumentative about it before. So, we showed it to him, and he was like, okay. And then, I was kind of like, yeah, that's like, that sounds good. Like, it sounds like a better deal than anything I was seeing. You know, so then we go inside, and we, like, talk to them. And they're getting all the paperwork and stuff. And, um... I mentioned that I had a car. I had a trade-in car. And he asked me if I have the VIN number and the mileage, how many miles are on it. So I told him how many miles are on it, told him I didn't have the VIN. Still went and got the paperwork. We signed some stuff. They checked my credit and everything. And then they brought me into the, another office to do the final paperwork with another guy. So I told this guy, and I'm like, Hey, so did they tell you that I had a trade-in vehicle? And so he went and talked to the guy, and he was like, So, so he comes back, and he's like, Oh, we're... He said you could bring that tomorrow and we could do it tomorrow. So I was like, okay, like, that's fine. But a trade-in is when you take in a car and you, um, see how much they would, they would give you for it to knock down the price of your new car. So... It wasn't a trade-in. They literally were just gonna, like, forget it. And then, so I had signed everything, and then I was like, okay, I guess tomorrow. Because, so then the guy says, so my down payment was too much. So I had to come back the next day to bring him a check. So I was like, okay, I can come back and do the trade-in then that day so I come back and um 
They say that the trading guy doesn't get there till noon. And I wanted to know what my credit was because my dad was concerned about the interest rate. But I didn't have as good of credit as I thought. So the interest rate makes sense. But, um, but yeah, so then... Um, you know, and I like this car. I liked it. I liked it when I drove it. That's why I decided to get it. Because we actually asked him to test drive it after we looked um, at, like, the deals on the online. So, we test drove it. And I really liked it. <laughs> Which is why I bought it, you know. But I was just kind of mad about the trade-in. And then I didn't realize how much the warranty was. So just ended up like being a lot of money <laughs> to spend on a car I mean I guess for me I don't know I don't know if it's a lot for other people or what like I don't know what other people are doing like I see I see people with fancy cars like all around and I'm just like how do you have that nice of a car and um you know, I didn't get the fanciest car. I got, like, the most reliable car in the world. A Toyota Corolla. So, so yeah. I'm just kind of mad about the trade-in. So, then, when my me and my dad went to go um, give them the, the rest of my down payment, he asked him about the... Or, he... So, after that, like, he came with me to go um, look at my car and because we needed to clean it out before we can come and bring it for them to get appraised. So we went to my car and he wanted to hear it and we turned it on and he said it didn't sound as bad as he thought. And I told him, I was like, yeah, like, well, he put the, the oil in it that it needed, but, um, but he said it was going to get worse. The mechanic, he said that I needed to get a new car basically. So, yeah, but my dad thinks that we can sell it. So, I guess we're going to clean it up and get all the stuff out. And then I'm going to try and sell it. I only have, like, two or three months of registration on it. So, I'm going to sell it um, so that I can get some money for it. Um, yeah, so that's that. I got a new car, guys. Yeah, I'm just trying to accept the fact that, like, yes, I'm going to spend all this money on this car, and it's mine, and it's okay, you know? So, try to be nice to me in the comments. But I just wanted to catch you guys up because I didn't vlog any of the experience. I'm very happy with this car. And... Hopefully it lasts me a long time. <laughs> I hear the Toyota Corollas do last, or Toyota in general, lasts a long time. So, it better. It better last me a long time because I drive so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'm going to end this vlog here. Make sure you like and subscribe to hear more about my car journeys. Just kidding. My life, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.